This video is about the Zcam app and I will show you how to connect the phone with the Zcam and talk about the pros and cons during the time I noticed with this smartphone rig. This video is not sponsored. And before you start, make sure to update the latest firmware of your camera and your phone. It is possible with Android and iOS. There are two ways to connect your phone to the camera. Cable and Wi-Fi. Let's take a closer look. Starting with the cable. After you download the app, open it and plug in the cable and start your camera. That's it. By the way, I use a 10 bucks Manfrotto smartphone clamp, which is super light and solid. Now Wi-Fi. Make sure to attach the small antenna, which comes with the Zcam. Open the menu and go to connect, press Wi-Fi and turn it on. Now on your phone, go to Wi-Fi settings and choose the Zcam. If you pair them for the first time, you need the Zcam default password, which is one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Easy to remember. But yeah, for the lazy ones, you can copy the password from the description. And if you're down there, leave a thumbs up. Once your devices are connected, open the app. Choose control to get a live view or media for a replay. Now you can use your phone as a field monitor with a couple of useful functions. To get to the main menu, you have to swipe from the right to the left side. It looks a bit different than the in-camera menu, but it is divided in the same way. Starting at the top, you can change aperture by clicking on the stops and slide from left to right where you want. It's the same with ISO and white balance. In manual mode. To change resolutions or frame rates, go to the bottom. Going from left to right, we have varial frame rates, the codec, the resolution, and the base frame rate. Going to the shortcuts. The first two are home menu and replay. In peak, you are able to customize your peaking function. In the next tab, you are able to customize your scopes and choose before or after LUT. In assists, you can activate false color, zebra and monochrome, just after LUT. In frame, you activate your safety grids and beauty I will show you later. In LUT, you can save some presets, but for now you can't upload cube LUTs. The next shortcut is manual autofocus. That means you can control your autofocus in very short steps. By the way, you can touch the screen and set the autofocus where you want it. And you are able to set A and B focus points by touch where you want position A and B. Then hold the A and B button until your phone vibrates. The focus change is very fast. The next three shortcuts are for peaking, scopes and assists, in my case, false color. The last three are LUT, frames and beauty filter shortcuts. All in all, you have the important settings very close on your screen. Let's make a test how far we can go. So, this is about 10 meters and still working. Nice. And this should be about 20 meters and oh, yeah it's working and this is about 30 meters and yes still working and this should be 40 meters I guess So you can see my leg and now we're close to 50 meters oh and there it is reconnect that's it almost 50 meters direct distance signal which is about 55 yards or 357 bananas but let's see how it performs while shooting i grabbed the smartphone rig my girlfriend cookie dough 
cutters and this little big thing. Hello? Hi, we saw your last version. Very awesome, but we need to change a lot of things. Okay. Change the music, change the effects, and make the people look like they have more fun, like... Make them smile. This is not so easy. Actually, we need more time for this, and it was not calculated in a budget, so we have to... No, we don't. You don't get the point. It's super easy. Just let it look like more production value. It's the same video, just different. Uh... Good. We need the output in Facebook feed, Instagram TV, 15 seconds version, 60 second version, and a three minute version for post pandemic events in CinemaScope, vertical, 360 degree, VR, and round until tomorrow, 9 a.m. Wait, is all this still part of the review? Yeah, let's get back to the review. Don't forget to activate airplane mode while shooting. The first con is there is no shortcut for END. You have to swipe left to open the main menu. Then you have to go to exposure and scroll down to END. A good thing there is almost no latency in changing settings or in live view. But there is a playback error on my iPhone 11 Pro. Thinner chin. Or Or bigger eyes. The next Pro, the peaking is outstanding good. It seems like using direct sensor information. But false color and other exposure tools are above the LUT. So if you want to have accurate false color, then you have to deactivate the LUT. And there's one awesome thing I noticed by accident. You are able to connect the Zcam with an iPad and an iPhone on the same time. The second device says control function is occupied when you open the app, but with this combo you can use your second device really just as a monitor for clients. And there is one funny thing I noticed during the time. The beauty filter. Okay, so let's have a look what the beauty filter does. So where it is there and turn it on. Then we have, this is, ah, yeah, this is LUT, okay. Let's have a nicer chin. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> and bigger eyes. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Actually, that is pretty funny. Imagine like you can just <laughs> record 12-bit raw zero and have a filter on it, like a thinner chin. That would be funny. Let's have a look at the recording. And <laughs> no, it's not baked in. Ah, <laughs> cringe. Under the bottom line, this Wi-Fi function is very cool to use it as a built-in combo on set to show the frame your client on the iPad or on tablet. And uh, I used the smartphone rig a lot of time with a German YouTuber. So it was more like a one-man army shoot, just him and me. And it saved a lot of weight 
So there was much more time and space for creativity and to run and gun around. And I will definitely use the smartphone rig more for social media shootings. Like, because you see the frame on the phone and the final video is going to be on social media, like watched on the phone. So during your filming it, using your smartphone, you get the feeling how it will look in the end. Why not? I hope I could answer all your questions and if you still have some questions, leave it in the comments. And I am currently on the Red Komodo versus Zcam E2F6 comparison. So if you don't want to miss this video, make sure to subscribe and activate the bell to be notified. Oh, no, no, notiva noti notified. That's the word. And have a lot of fun with your smartphone rig. Ah, uh, yeah. What am I doing here? Review. Walking through a field of ay 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 ay. Don't tell the farmer. Don't tell the farmer. <laughs>